Whiteboard is a neat way to let your students show their work, especially during a synchronous class time. Um, I have a problem uh, right here that I want to share with my students. In fact, I'm just going to take a picture of that problem right there. And this is a free problem that's out there on CUDA worksheets. I'm going to create a new whiteboard space here. It's called creating a new class. My name is Ms. Johnson. And I can decide whether I want a waiting room and whether I want to let my students upload images. In this case, I don't really need either of those things. So I'm just going to create my new class. And here I have the link that I need to send to my students. I could send this to students through Google Classroom. They could just click on it. If my students are already at this website, they could just type in that code really quick. Um, my students are doing that right now. So let me go ahead and insert that image I found. It's on my desktop. There it is. So let me insert that. Great. Okay, let me go back over to my class. And I'm going to join my own class from my iPad. So give me a minute here. So I'm just typing. I was already at the website, so I'm just typing in this code. It's going to prompt you to share your name as well. So the students type this in and then they write their name. And now I can see that Liz is in my class. Great. So let me go back over to my whiteboard and I'm going to be ready to push this out to all of my students. Oops. I drew on it a little bit. That's okay. Okay. So down here at actions, I have the option to push this whiteboard to all students, and that's what I'm going to do. Great. So now if I go back over to my class, I can see that Liz has this problem. Okay, now I'm Liz, and I'm on my iPad, so let me figure this out. Let's see. I have 42 degrees as my inscribed angle. Multiply that by 2 to get my intercepted arc, and that comes out to 84. So that's the measure of arc VW. And you can see that the teacher can see all of that work live as I was writing on it, just using my finger on my iPad. And so that's how you can use whiteboard to let um, your students show their work in real time, even when you're teaching virtually.